oncology, Precision Medicine seeks to individualize cancer treatment to help ensure that the right patient gets the right treatment at the right time. Biomarker research, technological advancements, and effective multidisciplinary communication can help make this possible. Involvement from the full multidisciplinary team, or MDT, is essential. Input from the pathologists, the gatekeepers of the tissue, and the oncologists, the clinical decision makers, is particularly helpful in ensuring efficiency throughout the biomarker testing process. The discovery of I.O. biomarkers and the development of new treatment options have made clinical decisions much more complex. Biomarkers can provide vital information about a patient's tumor and its microenvironment, but with an ever-evolving landscape of biomarkers, it can be really hard to keep up. That's where I come in. As a pathologist, I'm happy to guide on appropriate biomarker test selection throughout the patient's treatment journey. Technological advancements increase efficiencies in biomarker testing. Next generation sequencing, or NGS for example, can detect multiple types of genomic alterations across many genes simultaneously to help inform treatment decisions. But it helps to know a few details about the patient, such as the stage of treatment they're in and which therapies you're considering. This will help inform conversations about which tests to prioritize, which is essential when tissue insufficiency is an issue. Those conversations are so important. When departments are siloed, it's much more difficult for everyone. But multidisciplinary teams have the opportunity to optimize tissue for biomarker testing, and that can ultimately make the difference in a patient's path forward. I completely agree, especially because we're not always reading the same literature as our oncologist colleagues. They may have new therapies in mind that aren't yet on our radar, but the more information we get, the more valuable information we can provide. Effective communication between pathologists and oncologists can help inform tissue needs throughout the course of disease. This communication will look a little different depending on where you work. Some organizations rely solely on tumor boards, while others have frequent emails and calls between departments. What matters is that you are talking to each other early and often. If your institution lacks a formal communication structure, you may need to take the lead in consulting with your colleagues. The sooner you get your team on board, the better. Gone are the days of practicing medicine in independent areas of expertise. As we learn more about the multifactorial nature of cancer and biomarkers are explored and related treatments are developed, a multidisciplinary approach built on strong relationships is more important than ever before to ensure the right patient gets the right treatment at the right time.